Hello guys, and this is the third video of the Crying Tune game development series. And today I just want to go over how you can uh, navigate in the viewport and then go over some of the user interface. So when I reference during the video, you'll know where to go to. So to start off, you want to go ahead and open a new map. Uh, Crying Tune comes with one already, which is the forest uh, file. And you can see the file uh, file format over here next to it, Crime, which is the file format that they use for their levels. So I've already opened it up, so you might want to go open it up, and you'll have something that looks like this. You may not be placed exactly here in the viewport, but to move around in the viewport, use W, A, S, and D, or you can use the arrow keys, uh, up, down, forward, left, and right. And you can use the right click button to spin around and just move with your mouse. You can't move backwards and forwards with that though. That's just for controlling left, right and up and down and forwards. So if you press control G you will go into the game that's been made in the viewport and you can run around stuff like that. And you can shoot and then you just switch weapons as you would any other FPS game. So if I go ahead and fire a, a rocket launcher, you can see that that runs pretty well. So I'm just going to go ahead and press exit to escape out of there. And then once you've done that, you want to go ahead and check out some of the other features. So over here you see you've got your terrain editor, your texture editor and then the lighting. I'm going to go over all of those and then up here you got file, new, open, save as you won't need to worry about any of these under edit you got und uh, undo, redo clone, just like copy uh, yeah and then under modify you've got convert, like convert to brush uh, geometry entity I'm going to go from that and you've got some uh, materials like assign uh, current which will assign the selected material to the object to an object then over display you've got your wife wireframe mode you can just press F3 but you don't really want to be going around in this as you can't see the textures but it does help for some people that have low FPS so I'm just gonna press F3 to come out of that and then you got like the cycle 2D uh, viewport which will give you like a bird's eye view and will be 2D rather than 3D so I'm just gonna go ahead and come back out of that Sorry, uh, control. and there we go. I've got back to my normal viewport. So once you've done that, you won't need to worry about any of these other settings. You can record with AVI, so you can just record the um, uh, viewport. Uh, it's a lot better than using like Camtasia, Fraps, or anything like that, as it's optimized for the actual game engine itself. So let's say you want to make like a cutscene. That's what you're going to be wanting to use. Then under config spec, this is the display settings, which will change the quality of the viewport. I've got mine on low at the moment, just because recording slows down the uh, FPS, but you can go ahead and go to high if you want. You won't see that much difference, but it just you will find it a lot easier to use it on low quality. Under groups, you can group objects, so I select one then select another with like control click you can group them together and then ungroup them and then you can attach and then detach under here you've got your prefabs which will reload all like uh, just reloading all the settings stuff like that and to terrain rather than go to the terrain editor here you can just do it all here reload terrain which will sort out some of the textures stuff like that if you've I don't know uh, move part of the terrain around so you're going to want to like generate terrain, reload terrain there's time of day, lighting, texture which is all there under sound you can open sound browser and then the dialogue browser which will tell you which will be like a command console which is telling you what will happen then open sound browser will show you the sounds that you've got ready for CryEngine use under game we've got switch to game which I already showed which is control G which will put you into game mode and you can just fire around and stuff like that and just navigate around. You've got enable physics UI, uh, uh, AI, sorry, which will be like characters so they can move around properly. And yeah, you won't need to worry about any of these settings over here. 
and then AI, you uh, generate all AI, so that will make them work. So if you just put in the AI entity, sometimes it does not work. You can generate waypoints, flight navigation, 3D, uh, 3D navigation, or volumes and triangulation. You won't need to worry about any of those. Clouds, you can just do create and destroy. Tools, you've got reload scripts, reload terrain, reload geometry. You won't need to worry about these. You've got some skins here, like cry light, and you'll see it'll change to white, but I don't really like that, so I'm just going to go back to cry dark. And then you've got show status bar, show console. This is the console down here. Roll up bar, this is over here. Then open view panel, and then you'll have your uh, different things like top, front, left, perspective view, map, stuff like that. So on your roll up bar you've got like the AI bit here which will show you the uh, AI settings. I'm going to go over all of these area entities. And this will where you can add entities like light points, spawn points, uh, sounds, vehicles, triggers uh, air and air AI. And then you've got all these like prefabs, sounds, geomet uh, geometry entities. You won't need to worry about any of these. Under here, you've got the uh, terrain bit tab over here. You got modify, and then you can basically modify the terrain. If I just go ahead and do that, you can go into the terrain editor itself. This is like the roll-up bar version. As you'll see, that is all painted on, and the blocks are not part of the terrain itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press Control Z and put that back there. You can do move area, which actually has some move parts of the terrain. You won't need to worry about any of these. There's vegetation, which will let you uh, put objects in, like these rocks. That's all vegetation. Then you've got your uh, render settings down here, which will show what you want to render, like roads, skybox, terrain, vegetation, fog, decals, clouds, stuff like that. So yeah, that's about all I wanted to show in this video. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, like, and subscribe and I will go over some of the more advanced features of the user interface in later videos. Thanks for watching.